Now our other big story happening right now. The gates have just opened at Mercedes Benz Stadium for the MLS Cup game. Atlanta United fans have been waiting for tonight for two years and the weather did cancel a team arrival ceremony, but the cold and the rain has not dampened the team spirit leading up to tonight's match. We have crews inside and outside the stadium with fans. Let's go now to Liza Lucas at Mercedes Benz. Liza, it looks like it's raining, but it's not stopping anybody from tailgating. Not stopping the excitement, that's for sure. We actually had fireworks going off just a few minutes ago, and the good news is here at Gate 4, the gates opened early, so people have been moving through very quickly through this process, and fans have been stopping us and sharing their excitement. They are ready for a win tonight. I actually spoke with one family who has season tickets, and they are ready to see Atlanta United bring it home after what has been an exciting, exciting season. Now, more than 70,000 people are going to be expected to Pack Mercedes Benz tonight, ready to see Atlanta United conquer the field. And across the city, we've been seeing that same confidence displayed. In fact, earlier today, we saw a tweet from Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, who has accepted a friendly wager from the mayor of Portland. Now, the loser tonight, that mayor will have to wear the winning team's jersey and send along a message. But take a listen to Mayor Bottoms' response. Now, while Atlanta is looking forward to welcoming the Portland Timbers to our city, you should know that we will be sending them back with a big fat L. Atlanta United will win the MLS Cup, and I look forward to seeing you in our jersey. So you hear that confidence from the mayor tonight. These fans also very confident. We're going to watch how it all plays out and stay on top of that fan excitement. In the meantime, I'm going to turn it over to Alex Glaze, who is inside Mercedes-Benz. Liza, as you can see, the uh, the fans are slowly making their way into Mercedes-Benz Stadium, escaping that cold, drizzly rain that's uh, that's outside the doors. But yes, yeah, 70,000 plus loud, excited fans going to pack this place and hopefully witness history tonight. I'm Alex Glaze, and well, this this is it. It's the MLS Cup. Atlanta United getting ready for the Portland Timbers. We are a little under two hours away from from kickoff here uh, at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. 23 years since Atlanta has had a champion and United is hoping to change that. I spoke with a number of United players this weekend. They all are saying the same thing that they're hoping that they can break the supposed Atlanta sports curse and bring a championship back to this city. They feel like they are the team to do it. They're very confident tonight. But Portland, they've been in the MLS Cup. They're used to this. Their supporters are here. I don't know if you can hear them, but there's uh, over a thousand of them up at the top and they are making their presence felt already. So it should be a great atmosphere for this game tonight. Really looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, Atlanta United, this is Tata Martino, their coach's last game. Miguel Almiron, who's got plans to play in Europe. This could be his last game. The MVP, Joseph Martinez. There's there's a lot going for Atlanta tonight. Uh, so there's just been such a buzz around this city and around this team. And we'll see if they can, they can finish it tonight. And just under two hours. So, Christy, I'll send it back to you. From Mercedes-Benz Stadium, Alex Glaze, 11 Live Sports. Thanks a lot, Alex. The Portland Timbers fans definitely revved up. Looks like they travel well, too, all the way from Portland. They are ready to go in what's promising to be a tough game on both sides. Like you said, the game kicks off in about uh, two, little less than two hours. Tune into the late feed tonight for all of our post-game coverage. Maybe by then we'll know which mayor has lost a bet. <laughs>